from becoming conceited. Three times. Listen to this. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in what? <laughs> that almost sounds the opposite of what we're, we're taught about success and overcoming and everything. See, the reality is, is we're going to rely on one thing or the other. We're either going to rely on God or we're going to rely on ourselves. And God will bring us to the place where we're relying on Him. Amen? And the channel for that in our lives is going to be prayer. Prayer that's based on the Word. Prayer that's always striving for less of me and more of Him. Prayer that overcomes self. Okay, therefore, now listen to what he brags about. This just boggles our minds. Every time I read it, it boggles my mind. And I've read, I can't tell you how many times I've read it. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly, but of what? Of my weakness. So that the power of Christ might rest on me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, calamities. For when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Hey, I want to make an announcement to you. This is a confession. I've never got there yet. Anybody else? I mean, therefore, I'm content with weakness, with insults. We get insulted. And the first thing it does, well, it either makes us angry, hurt our feelings or something. We need to look at it this way. We're on that wheel. There's that knife going in there that, they call it a knife, right? Sounds odd. That tool that's shaping me. There's a little bit of pride or something that needed shaved off. So now he's letting this happen, Right? He loves us enough to make sure he shapes us into the kind of people he has called, called us to be. So for the sake of Christ, I'm content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, calamities. For when I'm weak, then am I strong. Well, one way that Strength comes to us when we're weak is when we do what Paul did. We seek the Lord. Because he, here's what's going to happen. The things happen in our lives. We're either going to resist it to the point and we get frustrated. God, why are you letting this happen? Or... We say, you know what, Lord? I'm yours. You are the potter. I am the clay. Let's all say that together. You are the potter. I am the clay. We need a reminder of that one. Uh, maybe David.